on this episode of Rappers in the Kitchen, we're indulging in some spicy seafood Sinatra with a very special guest. Don't go away. We're getting it cooking up in here. I was born in Yachtown. Yachtown. South side next to a crack house. Outside. You call the cops and you get shot down. They can got me where I'm at now. I'm at now. I don't chase fame. I don't need the problems. Need the problems. A million dollars cause a million problems. Yes, Another day made, and that is inspiration. I can't let you blur circle strain my motivation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks for joining us today here on Rappers in the Kitchen. I'm your host and sous chef, Kendra Jackson. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And join me in welcoming our guest, Tone Butter, right here from the DMV in Capitol Heights, Maryland. Thank you for joining us today. It's a blessing to be here, Chef K. How you doing? <laughs> awesome. So in the beginning, they said they were going to give me a nickname, so we came up with Chef K. Chef K. Sick. I like that. So you brought a wonderful guest with us with you today. Yes. This is my sister, Miss Till. Beautiful. She's here for support. Yes, that's my sister, you know assistant today. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. Gotta have family yeah. up here helping you with the thank you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome oh, to the kitchen. I'm awesome. excited. Good. So yeah. we're gonna talk about. Miss Tiffany a little bit more, but right now we're going to get into this delectable dish with Mr. Tone Butter. Well, you know, you know. Don't tell, okay, first, I need to know, mm -hmm. how'd you come up with this name? Well, the name is Spicy Seafood Sinatra. For one, I love Frank Sinatra's music. Okay. I'm a big fan of Frank Sinatra. I'm a big fan of Italian cuisine. Mm. So I just put that all together, especially with a, a, a dish that we so love on our side of town, the DMV, Washington, D.C. area, Maryland and Virginia, mm -hmm. seafood. Yes. So, you know, that combine that all together. And when I cook, I love to listen to Sinatra, mm -hmm. you know, and it's just it just has a grand taste, you know, like I have. Well, I guess we're going to get into the ingredients I'm gonna yeah. explain that later. But, you know, I just put that all together and I was just like it just. It just resonated in my spirit when I said it, you know, the spicy seafood Sinatra. Yes. I said, that's it. it. Sounds so delicious and so classy. Mm. What, what wine? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I would have that, but I don't drink no more. See, exactly. I'm in a relationship with God, so I'm trying to, that's one of my biggest problems I had. So, you know, I'm trying to. not dispute that, yeah. but, you know, just maybe for some foodies out there, a dish like that, what mm -hmm. would you think to pair it with, Tiffany? Uh, with red wine. Okay. Okay, like with the red table wine, I can definitely yeah. see that. Well, let's get into it. Definitely. So what are, what are our ingredients we have here? Well, first off, we're going to start with we got some green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers. You know, we got some sweet peppers right here. We have mussels. We have some mussels and tomato garlic butter sauce. And we also have mussels and just regular garlic butter sauce. We have grilled chicken uh, with red meat. And we have um, spicy andouille sausage that is well known known to be used in gumbo. We have our shrimp here, and we have just a little bit of steak, just a little bit of steak. All right, so we're going to get started, and we got we're going to cook some rice with. Oh, this. we have our jasmine rice as well. Jasmine rice that that tops it off. Yeah. So, Miss Tiffany, I guess we can get you to start cooking up the slicing up the sausage, and we can get that going. Um, so. Speaking of ingredients, mm -hmm. what makes a good wrap? What makes a good wrap? Uh, originality, okay. authenticity. Because you can have the right words to say, but if you don't deliver it properly, then your audience can miss exactly what you're trying to say. Okay. That's like I can tell you some, give you some good advice, but if I don't deliver it to you, it won't be received if I don't deliver it properly. So definitely the delivery. Um, the beat, definitely the beat, because it, it's just like a book. It, it, it tells a story. Your music tells a story. And I do a lot of storytelling in my music. So the, the, the instrumental and your voice, all of it goes together. You know what I mean? A perfect verse and a nice beat, it, it, it just goes fine together, just like these mussels and, and, uh, and this uh, Italian cuisine, this seafood. You know what I mean? Love it. 
So um, you're talking about storytelling. Mm -hmm. Your name sounds like it tells a story. What tell us about your name? <laughs> <laughs> well, my name, my first name is Antonio. Okay. Um, uh, in the neighborhood and stuff like that, my friends, a lot of my friends call me Tone or Tone Tone. You know, and when I went to Job Corps, I went to Job Corps in Pennsylvania for like two years. Mm -hmm. Went to Keystone Job Corps. And um, I was always me. You know what I mean? I was always me. People always say, you smooth, man. You too smooth. So I would walk around. I'd come outside the dorm and be walking around with my robe on and my <laughs> slippers and stuff like that. And I was always, every time they see me, I was always talking to different women and stuff like that. So I had a friend named Bar Fight Joe. Uh, <laughs> He, he from New York, by the way. I think he was from the Bronx when we was up there. And he seen me one day, and I was walking with uh, some female friends of mine, and I had on my robe and stuff coming out the door. And he was like, man, I'm going to call you Tone Butter. And when he said it, I was like, man, I like that. And it just stuck. I, just, I kept it. I came back home, and I was like, Tone, I was like, man, I'm Tone Butter. <laughs> And they was laughing like you guys. You always got something new, but everybody that I said it to was like, "I love it," and it just caught. And everybody was like, "I'm calling you that." Yeah. You know? All right, that's that's exciting. And um, thinking about what you have a, a movement. It sounds mm -hmm. like a movement or something. Spread love, not bullets. It's just basically me partnering with uh, a lot of different nonprofit organizations and just people who I know who come from that background in the community of the street life and you know just who understand what these youth and you know people who are out here going through with the gun violence and you know this that and the third is just people who can be a voice people who have a voice because you have to relate to people in order for them to really receive where you're coming from so you can't just take any old person and, and try to go out and speak to a people that they can't relate to. Mm -hmm. So it's just me partnering up and just my com the compassion, just being led by, like I said, it's all God, but in the spirit of God, my compassion for those who are in that situation, um, the victims of the senseless violence and stuff like that, you know, because I had a lot of friends, you know, a lot of friends and family members to die to gun violence and stuff like that. So I feel moved to use the platforms that God give me to be a voice, you know, to try to be a light, to spread positivity, just to make some type of impact, just to make it better for whatever, with whatever resources that I have, you know. So that's, that's huge because it affects generations. Right, You know, right. one killing, you might look at it on the news as one killing, mm -hmm. but it affects generations. That is There's definitely someone true. someone who's actually missing from a family whose presence is felt or, right. or you know, just being gone. Right. Right. So it, it takes off the uh, the balance right. of, of nature of life. So yeah, I mean that that gun issue is really a, a touchy issue. Right. Here. And then we already have the injustice going on with the police killings and all that. So that just put, you know, that add gasoline to the fire. So you know, it's like, what can I just pray to God and say, what can I do? Right. You know, I can't, I won't be able to reach everybody, but whoever he can use me to reach, okay. let me do it. That's my service back unto God. And that's you know? why we're here today. Amen. So we're going to take a quick break, come back, and we're going to start up with these incredible ingredients. Yeah. we got the sausage cooked up over there, mm -hmm. ready, cut up and ready to go. We're about to hook it up. I'm ready. Yeah. We'll be right back. You can achieve a lot using your imagination. <laughs> I mean, I don't like to brag, but wait, who's that? And why is she all over these achievement awards? But with STEM, the sky's the limit. Shaboom! Use STEM to envision. Okay, I'm seeing it. Yeah. Invent. Got any ideas? I've got a few, actually. And create a better world. Told you she's super smart. If she can STEM, so can you. Find out more at She Can STEM. Throw down in the kitchen, Chef K. Hey, hold hey. up, hey. I wanna see you throw down. Throw down in the kitchen, whip it up. Hey, I want to see you throw down. Dora knows better than anyone. The best place to explore is the forest. <gasps> she knows this monkey? Of course she knows this monkey. Experience nature. Let's go. Connect with family. I love you guys. And find your own adventure in a forest or park near you. Let's do this. <laughs> Come on, Boots. <laughs> 
Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest or park near you. I was born in Yachtown. Yachtown. Southside is... Welcome back to Rappers in the Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Kendra, Chef K. Chef K. <laughs> and I'm alongside yeah. my it's special wonderful guest, Tone Butter. What's and happening? Miss Tiffany. So we're here today cooking up some spicy Sinatra seafood Sinatra. Spicy seafood spicy Sinatra. Seafood Sinatra. Sinatra. Gotta say it right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the next step we need to take in uh, the creation of this wonderful? So the next step is what we're going to do. We're going to definitely get this rice okay. over here in this water and get that rice get that, get that cooking going. up over here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have our pan right here. We're going to grease this up with a little bit of butter, baby. You know what I'm saying? Put a little bit of butter up in there. So the butter give everything Time flavor, back. you know? All right. You know what I'm saying? And then we're going to get these spicy andouille sausages over here. We're going to get that cooking up. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And then... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to open up these mussels. Can you cut that for me, Miss Kat? Chef Kat. <laughs> I'm going to have to start introducing myself like that now. Definitely. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Real business. So we're going to get that in here. So what's mm. your favorite thing to cook at home? Do you often cook at home? I'm going I'm to I'm let Miss Tiff answer that. <laughs> Yes, he's the chef. He's the chef. That's chef Tom Butter at home. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, so we don't eat if he don't cook. See? See? That's the kind of <laughs> brother you want. <laughs> that's the kind Period. of brother you want. So what's, what's, what's your favorite dish to cook? Uh, anything dealing with seafood. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love seafood and steak. Mm -hmm. And steak. Okay. Anything dealing with seafood and steak. Yes, yeah, two things to love. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Do you have any like quick 30 minute meals that you might cook during the week? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I love to eat, so it. I don't really have a true favorite other than seafood and steak and stuff. Mm -hmm. I cook anything. I try to cook. Every time I'm cooking, I try to cook something different. Oh wow. Okay. Every time, or if 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 it's whatever I have on board at the time. Mm -hmm. I that's would, what yeah, that's what it is. Okay. I'm going to make it. I like to create. Okay. I like to create. Oh, I love it. That's where the spicy seafood Sinatra yes. come from. I love to create. So this is his creation, you all. Exactly. Got to stay tuned for the ingredients and how to do it all. It looks and smells incredible in here already. Thank you. So we're going to get these mussels in here. We're going to heat these mussels up. I got the I got the um, the chicken, okay. and what I usually do is can I add a little bit of water? Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of water in here. Get the cup over a little here, bit to get the said. little juices. Okay. So what I usually do because I get the shrimp fully cooked already. Okay. So. Aqua. So I have to, but the only thing with these shrimp is these are the ones with the tail on. Okay. So. Here. All right. So, Miss Tiffany, what's your favorite dish that he cooks for you? Do you have a favorite? It's this spicy Alfredo. Oh wow. Chicken and shrimp Alfredo <laughs> that he cooks. Goodness gracious. That's my favorite. That sounds good. <laughs> it is. We just had some uh, curry pork chops the other day. Wow. He did. They was decent. They was decent. Mm -hmm. it was very I love it. So we are moving forward in this meal, and it's coming together real well. Look at that. You about to see. What's going on in the peppers? Oh, yeah, we're going to heat this up. You know, this is all, where we always say you get, get the smell of vision going. Mm -hmm. It smells incredible in here. So we are going to get this, keep kind of keep this going. Mm -hmm. When we come back, we're going to have everything mixed together. And, um... Then we'll get ready for a special surprise. You know, that part of the show when our guest comes off the top of his dome. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about these ingredients. We're going to kick a little bars. We're going to spit a little bars. We're going to do a little something, something. Stay tuned. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> this is Robert in the kitchen. Real business. <laughs>
I was born in Yachtown. Yachtown. South side next. We're back on Rappers in the Kitchen with our very special guests, Tone Butter and Miss Tiffany. My stomach is growling in here, y'all. So I think we need to go ahead and add up our spices. Let's do it, let's All do right. it, let's do it. We're cooking up some spicy seafood Sinatra. Mm, mm. It smells so good, too. The way that sound, too. My goodness. <laughs> so first, what we're going to do here, I'm going to add a little bit of um, crystal hot sauce. I'm gonna put that up in this in this pot real quick. I'm gonna just get a little bit. Can you dab right, it? Give absolutely. me a little dab of that real quick. Yes. There we go. I'm gonna turn down our rice a little bit because we are boiling over here. Mm -hmm. We're good to go. All right. So how many dabs? Give me about three dabs. One for the five, for the seven, for the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. Okay. Yes. There we go. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic to it. Garlic. A little bit of garlic. And any any place in particular? Or? Nah, just let it go ahead. Let's just go let it shower. Rain oh. down. There we go. Let me get a little bit of cayenne. A little bit of cayenne. A little bit of cayenne. Uh-oh. We got to come back to the cayenne. That's brand new. For real? That's brand new right there. Lord have mercy. <laughs> we'll come That's back you. to the Don't cayenne. Don't worry about it. Actually, we good. We good. We got this. We good. So oh, we're going to pass some of these seasons down here. Better work. She's going to use a little bit of this garlic powder, which you can, you know, prefer uh, uh, preferably to whatever your taste is, you know, whatever yes. seasons you like to use. But this is just what I do, you know, because I do what I do, and I do it well. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, uh, there you go. yeah, we got a little this onion powder over here. Tied, tied. Did that with a little kind of... Tied meal together like yeah. this. Yeah. This is what you call this over here. And I got the Italian season. We're going to add that last once okay. we, you know. Beautiful. Uh-oh. It's all good. Okay, because it's spicy. It's all good. Right? That was just okay. enough, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So this is going to be... Go you ready for the Italian season? Yeah, you can hit it down. The baby right here. It smells so good in here, y'all. I'm telling you, somebody, somebody got to do some justice with some smell vision Miss Tiffany? Do I need some hot sauce to uh, we good with that? Nah, yeah, we good okay. with it, because it's going to be in this It's gonna be in this savory juice that's right here. And I'm working up right here. Mm, so good in here. Okay. All right. So we just added all of our wonderful spices. We have our sausage and pepper going. Miss Tiffany got that on the one. Okay. And then you have the mushrooms. We have some shrimp. Yeah. Got a little chicken. And some steak. And some sirloin. Sirloin. We got yeah. the rice. The rice is just about done. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we got, we got some envy going on up in here. It's beautiful <laughs> right about now. But we'll be back. And when we come back, it's time for the food to be stopped. We'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. We got bars for you. <laughs> Real quick. Can't touch five. All right. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. And your mother... I am totally a hot person. Right, guys? Thanks for being honest. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Adopt pure love at the shelterpetproject.org. I was born in Yachtown. Yachtown. Southside. Welcome back. We're here with Tone Butter, and it's time for the Foodie Freestyle. Ready? Let's get it popping. Throw down in the kitchen. Hey, I wanna, wanna see, see you throw down. down. Throw down in the kitchen. Hey, this is how we throw down. Throw down in the kitchen. Hey, I, I wanna, wanna see, see you throw down. down. Throw down in the kitchen. Oh, pass me the spoon. I wanna see you throw down. Throw down in the kitchen, chef. Hey, hold up. Hey, I wanna see you throw down. Throw down in the kitchen. Whip it up. Whip it up. Hey. I wanna see you throw down, uh, wanna see you throw down, hold up, cause I'm about to go now, ayy, talk about it in the kitchen, hold up, man, sit back and listen, the beat just stop, but it dropped, <laughs> <laughs> caught me off guard, ayy, but shout out to God, uh, ayy, throw down in the kitchen, Hey, go down in the kitchen. We ain't finished. Hold up, Miss Tip, get em. Uh, uh. Red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper. Huh? I'm done. Huh? To my right is Tom Butter. He's about to get. <laughs> <laughs> go down in the kitchen. Hey. 
Uh, I want to see you throw down. Throw down in the kitchen. Oh, let me do that over. <laughs> I want to see you throw down. Green pepper. Green pepper. Green pepper. Yellow pepper. I'm done. In uh, the kitchen with uh, Miss K. Uh, I must say, I'm having uh, a lot of fun. So uh, my wife right is prone butter. Hey, Going down hey, on the plan. Hey, 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 hey. Pass me a plate. Hey. Uh, I want to get my snail. Uh, hey. Miss K. Miss K. Uh, uh, I'm going to throw it to you. Tell me what to do. Miss K, Miss K. This your kitchen boo. Throw down, throw down. This is the first time you know hey. that I've ever been invited. Throw down, throw down. Hey. Throw down in the kitchen hey. with all these spices. Hey. Hey. Throw down. Hold up. I got to go one more time. Hold up. Miss K just killed me. Hold up. Balls. Hold up. Uh, uh, look. Uh. Oh, it went off. Uh. Oh. 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 My name is Hunter Hayes, and I know my buzz warning signs. You have to write about life. One shot is about knowing my limits or not necessarily knowing my limits. I start with one shot to have a good time. Everybody knows how easy one can turn into five. I think a sign that I'm buzzed is when I start solving not only my own problems, but the entire world's problems. <laughs> time to cut off. When I know I'm going out, I know I'm going to start with calling for a ride. To me, it's, it's a choice at the beginning of the night. One shot at a time. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back to Rappers in the Kitchen. We're getting ready for our very special performance with our guest, Tone Butter with Why the Good Die Young. The good Die Young. It's about time we shed light in the dark world right. it's about time we speak up to save the lives of our younger generation real business check this out see i'll be steady reminiscing about my loved ones that are missing some of them in the grave some of them locked up in prison sad that's how we live and these things don't change genocide steady rising up a young boy slain but you didn't want to listen when they was preaching to you and then your whole family crying because you died like a fool but who's to blame for the tragic of that young boy's life mama blame it on the killer but she ain't raised them right we all make our own choices i can't pull no cops mama never took the chance to introduce them to god papa wasn't ever there so that made things hard so we took to the streets had to steal and rob that's why we need role models for those that's gone astray so they can have better examples lead them the right way and some might disagree and some might can relate but you better take heed to these words that i say i hope you listen when i kick it in, no matter where you're from if you live by the bullet then you die by the gun got some people's up in heaven but we all got some but i'll never understand why the good die young hope you listen when i kick it in, no matter where you're from if you live by the bullet then you die by the gun got some people's up in heaven but we all got some but i'll never understand why the good die young some days i sit back in my room and just think like, dang, man, I need to pull me a drink Cause I'm tired of feeling this sorrow Nothing promised tomorrow Can't solve my problems with bottles I'm blowing smoke out my nostril Jesus want me to follow him Constantly reading my Bible The devil plotting against me But please don't let him get me Praying, hoping you hear me So much step in my city Hearts that grown cold Ain't no mercy or pity Ain't no love, you hear me? They don't want no pop My heart's still hurting Since they killed my main man Bob It's so hard trying to cope With the same old thing Police killed my little man He was just 17 so we scream no chase for the sake of his name Ain't no justice in the system but we still locked in chains It's a shame how my brothers kill each other for loot A word of book and a book and it's just how they do Yet it's strange how we disagree and run from the truth They say black lives matter yet matter to who My people die from lack of knowledge yeah you heard what I said How we gonna stand up when we keep breaking our legs Tired of seeing my black brothers getting shot in the head By another black brother who done left them for dead I'm just praying for better days to see my people that's one but if you live by the bullet then you die by the gun i hope you listen when i kick it it don't matter where you're from if you live by the bullet then you die by the gun got some people's up in heaven but we all got some but i'll never understand why the good die young hope you listen when i kick it it don't matter where you're from if you live by the bullet then you die by the gun got some people's up in heaven but we all got some but i'll never understand why the good die young spread love not bullets real business Stop the violence all across the world. Tone butter. And I'm out.
So we're back on Rappers in the Kitchen with our special guests, Tone Butter and Miss Tiffany. So here's our final dish. Let's take a look at that. So tell us, uh, tell us about it again and everything that you did. It looks so good. Well, what we have here is the eloquent, delicioso, spicy seafood Sinatra. Now the process was such a beautiful one and I couldn't have done it without my team, Chef K and Miss Tiff. <sighs> but, you know, it was just a mixture of, and, and it kind of, it even gives you a, a, a message about life, how things sometimes that you don't think that go together, but if they put in the right mixture, it can be such a divine connection and a, a divine recipe, man. And that's just how God works. Sometimes what we think and what we think don't go together, God will put it together and mix it in. And man, it's like chicken and waffles, baby. But, um... Uh, <laughs> a masterpiece, baby, a masterpiece. <laughs> But you know, and yeah. Chef K came through and she added the garnishes and the cilantro and the, tell them what else you added on there. A little there. spring onion or chives, mm, cilantro, God. a little mint. Mm. But yeah, man, you know, we got our, we got some steak in here, some, some sirloin steak. We got spicy andouille sausage. We got mussels uh, marinated and sauteed in tomato garlic butter sauce. We got grilled chicken mixed with rib meat. We got shrimps, man. I'm ready to taste it. Yeah. You ready to just taste it? Let's I'm do it. Ready. I'm ready. Let's I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, well, we, can we get a fork? Can we get the fork? I'm going to get the forks. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Okay. All right. All right. You, you, you got to catch up, my stuff. I got mine, baby. I got mine. <laughs> we you good. late. We got, we got forks. We got them. Ready? We going in? We're going in, y'all. Don't matter. Don't matter. Which way can we go? It don't even matter about it right about now. I don't do even your know thing. which one I want. Ladies I'm first. Ready. Because I, okay. I was sneaking a couple shrimps when y'all went left. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready? Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mm. 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 So that's our show for today. It's so good. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to our mm -hmm. crew, our way cool audience, our special guest, Tone Butter. Real and business. Miss Tiffany with this incredible spicy seafood Sinatra. Y'all gotta try this. Look us up on the try. YouTube. If you're not watching, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe mm -hmm. so you can get the recipe. This is Rappers in the Kitchen. In the meantime, keep it cooking. See you next week. Real business. Keep God first. Amen. Real Amen. business. Amen. All the time. <laughs> Are we out? <laughs>